What is up? It's a figure hunter, and today we're going to do a review for the new Velites Quad Ultra hand grips. The new Velites Quad Ultra hand grips. Now, this is a new product from an established company that's done hand grips and other uh, basic equipment for CrossFit and for cross training. And this was a kick kickstart backer project that I signed up for last December and have finally been testing the actual final production element. So this is a review for that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more, lots more content on the way. Now, since I signed up for this kick, uh, Kickstarter project. I've gotten excellent communication. They have kept me in the loop with everything in the production process. At one point, they actually got their first prototypes in and they tested it and they said it's just not good enough. It's not the level of perfection that we wanted to accomplish. So they made some shifts. They got the final prototype in. They put it through testing with the Spanish Olympic gymnast and they said these are the ones. These are the final deals. So we're going to look at them hands on in a second and then we're gonna compare them in the mid part of the video to other hand grips on the market. I've got a wealth of other hand grips we're gonna look at in comparison to them. So with these, they are the claim to fame is no chalk grips. And there's actually even more design features than just the extra grippy exterior that they have designed and come up with. So we're gonna talk about all those in detail. There's supposed to be no chalk, there's full wrist support, so it's got the full wrist, you know, thicker wrist thing, and it comes with wrist sleeves, so just a full great experience there. But the reason I'm doing this video and the reason I'm most excited about these is I used these in a competition last weekend, and I couldn't believe, and I'm not just saying this, I paid for these with my own money, I couldn't believe how well they worked. I was using multiple different pull-up bars and a gym that I wasn't familiar with. And you know when you're at your gym, you want to find the one extra grippy pull-up bar because it's just a little bit easier. And typically when you're using regular hand grips, you're looking for chalk, but you also like a bar that has a little bit better grip instead of a little bit slippery. I was on multiple bars, never had an issue, never used chalk throughout the whole morning competition. Additionally, I actually use these for pulling, you know, for high volume pulling workout motion. So for a 225 deadlift for 40 reps and for a 65 pound snatch for over 100 reps, I actually used the hand grips. And I honestly would say it cut down about 20%. And that's just an estimate. It's not an exact science. But I would honestly say at least 20% of less hand grip strength needed to complete the workout. So I was able to go much higher volume, much less um, wear on my grip strength with 100 reps at 65 pounds and a power snatch. And it, I feel like it's because of these grips because they're so incredibly grippy and you could flap it over and just pull and go, pull and go, pull and go. So we're gonna look at that. Let's dive in. Let's look at what you get in the box, what these sort of features are for these and then compare them to some others. All right, so here it is, the Velites Quad Ultra box. This is just sort of the simple box. Here's what you get inside besides just the grips themselves. You get these uh, handy dandy wrist wraps, wrist bands which go underneath it, and you get this little baggie which has like a little clip on it that you can strap to the side of your workout bag. And here you have the Quad Ultra hand wraps themselves. They have this sweet textured, super rubbery, very sticky exterior um, and then one of the things that I really like is it's got this soft suede it does feel like cloth but it is just ultra soft suede on the inside which uh, hopefully will wear a lot better than the bare complex that we'll look at in a little bit at the end they wrap the grip around the tip so basically you get a little bit of a place where you could get a little bit of a hold on the other side of the bar so obviously this is going to catch on the underside of the bar and help you have a little bit better hold um, one of the things that's really a nice feature about it is they actually have this extra thick, and we'll look at it compared to others in a second, but this extra thick wrist strap for where it locks on, and you're wearing the sleeves underneath so that it has an even more comfortable pull so you can strap it down. And this is how it looks when it's fully assembled, sort of tight on the wrist. I like to strap it down pretty tight on, around the wrist because the cushioning and the extra thick doesn't actually put extended pressure on the wrist because there's so much bandwidth and you have the sleeve underneath. Uh, comes up across the top so that you can sort of cut behind it and grab on. 
Um, we're going to talk about the sizing options and issues in just a little bit, so pay attention to the later part of the video. But this is what it looks like when it's actually on the wrist and you slap over and the grip. Okay, so how do these compare with all of the others that are out there? Now, since I've been in CrossFit, since I've been this is, you know, just the last six years since the training, I've used the little cloth, the sort of the ones that we're out in about six months, little cloth hand grips. I've used the little cheap Amazon $10 two hole hand grips, which are super hard. They like, they hurt in between your fingers. I've used the wad and done, which is the sticker style. And you know, that's actually works in a pinch. Just the wad and done, wrap a sticker on there. It holds up kind of well. And for the last year, I've used the bear complex almost exclusively for the longest period of time. So the bear complex three hole for the last year. And before that, for two years, I used the Bear Complex two hole and periodically have used the Bear Complex no hole. But I just have found the three hole just feels the most comfortable. So we're going to look at what is really different about these because the real problems with the regular hand grips, so the regular ones that you get in just the simple form factor, I don't know, whatever company. So if you have a two hole, you get you know, exposure to your hand on the sides. And if you're in a gym with its hot and humi humidity, if you have this little piece exposed, I would wear blisters there. So I moved to the three hole. The other problem with the three hole is they're, they're pretty much all the manufacturers are just pieces of leather. They have a little design on the outside, which is supposed to catch the bar, supposed to help provide grip. But the back is just a piece of leather. And if you're sweating a lot, which you will be doing in CrossFit, you tend to cause abrasion on the back of the leather. And as the leather gets wet and then dries off, it gets hard and brittle. And if, like I have been in a gym with minor air conditioning in, you know, 99 humidity, 99 degree humid weather in North Carolina, it's actually wearing on my palm. So there would be times where my whole palm would feel like it's becoming one blister because of the abrasiveness of the back of the leather once you've used it for a prolonged period of time. The other thing is that if you use chalk and you have to typically use chalk with these, these just get filled with chalk. As I've been doing the review and showing it side by side, I have chalk in my, and just the chalk soaks in over time. And I'm going to do a long-term comparison as I get these through testing more than just three weeks that I've been testing. But so far, these are not needing any chalk. They have the soft backing like we talked about, but let's look at it hands-on, back-to-back when you look at the other issues. The other minor point is that the straps are so narrow on these typical grips that I have a bum left wrist. And so if I'm really trying to use the grips to support my weight, it actually hurts across this wrist because it's a narrower strap, which causes more pull and more pressure on the wrist. So let's look at all of these comparisons. Plus I'm gonna talk about one major issue if you're gonna go order the Velites Quad Ultra hand grip that you need to be aware of when it comes to sizing. Let's dive in. All right, so now we're gonna compare it to a number of other options out there. So you can obviously see what we saw, what we already talked about. Um, let's even compare it to a new no hold. Um, so you can see the difference. You know, this has the diamond, the carbon, whatever they call it, diamond uh, grip. This is the bare complex. It has slight grip, but it is, is nothing like it. I mean, it is nothing like the level of grip on the quad ultras. Um, it is just like, this is like glue and this is like, I don't know, light sandpaper. Um, you can see there's extra length here and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, you know, if you were to put them one over top each other, you get a pretty big gap there. And you can see that the strap width actually is pretty narrow. So that's where these are going to actually pull more pressure because it's a smaller surface area. And obviously if you can wear, you know, wrist sleeves with it, but it's going to pull more surface area. And then you look at the back, this is sort of a softer texture leather on the back versus the soft suede. But a couple things that happen, we're going to look at the quad ultra long term. So you see the wear down of these ones that I wore for two years, the backs held up, but over time, this leather hardens and it gets like sandpaper. So the three holes that I've been wearing a lot recently, you can see almost a texture, an abrasive texture on the leather. That is actually a main problem when you're in a hot gym, especially in the summer months, if it's not a fully air conditioned box, you get moisture everywhere. And so my palms would literally start to grind against that and start to wear 
almost like one huge blister on the whole of my palm. Um, so when you think, when, when we compare it back to the new one and you look at them sort of side by side, you will see if you can tell from the video camera that there is probably a 50% increase in thickness and you feel that at first. And at first it feels a little bit off-putting because the Quad Ultra is thicker because it's got the soft suede and then it's got, you know, a really thick exterior versus just one piece of leather. You're gonna feel the thickness, which is why the extra length is really important. Um, let's look at how they look on my wrist. Again here, this is the Quad Ultra flap. Okay, and this is the two hole. Now I ordered the medium two hole and it might be a little bit short because this is really just coming below the knuckles. Um, let's compare it to the three hole. You can see that the shorter bandwidth here will cause more pull across the wrist when you're hanging on it and really using the grip to carry your body weight. It's just got a smaller diameter. So let's look at the three hole. Okay, so this is the three hole. You can see it lines up about the same, you know, a little bit short. So you could just sort of hook it and still grab on if you're not gonna use the finger holes. Um, so it's about the same height overall versus the level of surface area coverage that you're gonna get on the Quad Ultras. Um, again, you know, even just putting these on now for this review, again, it's it, because there's just that short distance until you get to the Velcro, sliding in and out, so you have about this much, you can't get your hand through there if you wanted to throw them out in the middle of a workout. But on the Quad Ultras, because there's an extra gap and it just has a little bit of extra fabric, you actually have no problem coming in and out of these, which gives it quicker and easier adjustability. If you wanna loosen this and turn it around, it's not at all as much of a problem as the Bear Complex or any of those two hole, three hole options that have that narrow, short strap. This actually works a lot better so you can still sort of loosen and it's not gonna come out either. So a lot of these three holes or no holes, they, to get your hand out, a lot of times this will pop out and then it's just a pain to get back in if you are sort of hustling to get it all done. Um, versus this, which doesn't tend, you have plenty of room to come out and you're not gonna slide back out of the loop, which actually is a big difference. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the issue, the one main issue that I had with them, and that is because I ordered a large, because I was right on the bubble going to an extra large on the length of my hand they told me to mention. So if you look at this, this is sort of tightly on, this is where the, the line would come, and I'm just gonna mark my fingers with it because it just gives a sort of a point of reference for where the three hole would line up, where it'd flap down. And because the three hole or even the no hole doesn't have a lip around the edge, this is just sort of all worth, you know, you can use all this fabric to flap around the edge of the bar. And this is the large that came with it originally. And why I sort of reached back out and sought to get the extra large, because this is large. Now the others I was showing you with the Bear Complex are mediums. And you can see that clearly there's a, a difference in how far it comes up on my hand. But even more so, you almost have to measure the distance to the little lip because that's where your defining element is gonna change how it wraps around the bar. So if this is up at the top of the bar, it actually will feel like you have maybe a little bit less grip. So it's not just the top line that we can see there in the difference between the two, but it's actually the bottom line where it's coming, where you're getting down past this lip. Now the lip is actually functionally super worthwhile, but it also could be functionally a problem if you get too short of a grip. So strong recommendation here is I would strongly say just go up a size. The extra flap is not gonna cause a problem. It's not gonna get in the way. You can't, you, it's not necessarily gonna have too much fabric if it comes up there. Let's take a look at the extra large. And there it is, there's the extra large. Now this is probably too much. So you can see sort of slightly beneath everything how far this comes up. Again, if you take the lip out, this is coming up here. So you know, the lip is just sort of, especially on the opposite side of the bar, is gonna serve as a functional helper in holding onto the, um, the pull-up bar. So it's got an extra space. Now extra flap, and there's even coaches that, that coach to having long flaps so that you have just lots of room. So when I go up, it's, it's really not causing any problems whatsoever to go up and wrap around, even if there's too much fabric. But not enough fabric is the one issue with this, is that I think they are making them too short 
for the estimated sizes they're recommending. I think they need to go up literally a half an inch on all their sizes. Literally the distance from here to here needs to be the increase that they need to start all their sizes one you know, half inch up to compensate for this. And then I think they'll be spot on with the appropriate sizing. Let's talk about these in summary. What do I think in summary? Now having tested for three weeks, not getting promoted, I didn't get these for free, I had to pay for these with my money and wait you know, nine months for them to arrive. These are the best grips by far, like by, by a significant margin that I've ever tested or used. I mean, I've tested probably 10, I've used three different types for the last three years extensively. These are unlike anything that I've experienced. Time is gonna tell how they wear. So I'm gonna do a, you know, a two or three month, you know, more long-term review of these over time. But these are the best because it solves all of the primary problems with regular grips on the market. The, the thing that, that to me is a minor point that they don't even highlight is the softer backing. That is actually a big differentiator when you have a long-term use of a grip. The other sort of minor point is the lip at the end that creates a better hold. And it's sort of, it's got the rubber texture on the backside so you can feel it on your fingers differently as well. The other point is how thick the wrist support is and the fact it comes with the wrist sleeves, but just the thickness of the wrist support, the bandwidth there creates less pull and pressure on one area of your wrist, but more broadly across your wrist. And the last thing, like they talk about the no chalk hand grip is their claim, is that it is the most grippy and there's not been a need for chalk whatsoever at all since I've been using this. So, so far, the Velite Quad Ultra hand grips are the best that I have tested by a significant margin because of all of these minor design features to them. So with that, it's the Fit Gear Hunter. Thanks so much for watching.